to be this is the height we'll be. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And okay. this okay. is the start of the really long trusses that go over the meeting rooms and the expo hall, and then we'll go up another level to be the ballroom uh, level, special event space level. Um, at an even faster pace is going the uh, truck marshalling facility. And that's a port concrete, port in place concrete building. You can see rebar's been laid out on this level. They'll pour that, depending on the weather and how cold it is, they'll pour that by the end of this week or maybe through the weekend. And then you'll see they're setting up for another pour down here. So this has risen already two levels up, and this is now getting ready to go up to another level. It's going to be rising on the west side and then proceeding out this way. And this is the second level being set up to continue across. So a lot of really fun things happening. The other thing you're seeing in these pictures is that as what happens with any good construction uh, job, you've got trades following one another. So this is all fireproofing going on in here. And if you could look behind that, you'd see a lot of the sleeves are in place and the uh, MEP will be put in right after that. So a lot of good progress. Um, and you're seeing the number of people increasing on the site as well, because now other trades are following fast behind them. And then we have one more slide. Um, are you doing this or? <laughs> right there. Uh, we had a, a big success last week. The performance mock-up was passed in the uh, uh, plant in Florida. So now we can proceed with the production of the curtain wall, which is terrific. Um, uh, the steel has almost completed its fabrication and almost everything's been bought in the building up to the uh, FF&E materials. So that's for oh, you have, Can you speak yeah. briefly about the uh, schedule for completion? So the schedule we have uh, we're about to see an issuance of what we call the third tranche, which is a great, great detail to it, and it's still showing a contractual completion by the contract date. Which is? Uh, uh, March of 2021. About two, a little bit, two years and a little bit more. So I'm still proceeding. And so this is the, the release which will have the details of the uh, finishes and so forth of the uh, banquet space and the roof space and so forth? No, what this is, is it's a schedule. And so what the schedule is doing is, because it's design build, um, the design is happening basically very quickly. Mm -hmm. So we've had, there are three tranches to this, and what you're seeing is a level of detail. So it's a much more specific schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what that's about. So that is the March of 2021 is the completion of Basically everything that, you, that David just showed you, which is the, uh, the, the steel erection, which is going to be the um, contiguous expo hall, the meeting room space, the ballroom space, the special event space. Um, it'll be the back of the house spine all done, and it'll be the truck washing yard uh, to the north. But, but it won't be the integration of the facilities? Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. So, so much oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. It will be a uh, full integration uh, open for business. Well, open for the soft launch of starting the commissioning and then ready for business. Are they booking business now for that date? Yes, we are. We haven't we haven't got a lot of it yet, but we are getting to book business for that. Um, and we recently established that pricing for the actual uh, speed. Thank you. Um, David, thank you for the question about the schedule. Uh, equally important to me, and I'm sure to you, is the budget. Uh, I've, I think it's, uh, we're up now. Well, yes, I'm about, I'm about to finish the president's report, and then we'll come back to start the meeting formally. Um, uh, so, it's got schedule, uh, budget, equally important to all of us. Um, over the course of the past many months, I have showed you uh, the, the, the same approximately $1.5 billion of sources. And as I indicated to you at the time, that, that hasn't changed and isn't going to change. Uh, there's actually a small uh, interest accrual on some of the funds that are uh, in our uh, CCDC bank accounts, uh, but the sources and uses are, are the same. Uh, so uh, as David and I were just mentioning a moment ago, um, I continue to draw on the sources that are available to us uh, for the uses that you have already approved, including the $1.213 billion base price for the expansion. 
Um, and uh, one of the things that David has been very helpful uh, in accomplishing is making sure that uh, invoices get paid promptly as they come in on time. Um, and so we are spending uh, the money that's available to us for the um, activities that you have previously authorized. So we're still uh, on time and on budget for uh, the project completion. I'd like to, you asked about questions and comments on David speaking. I'd like to just say, first of all, David, thank you very much. Thank you. I think you've done a tremendous job. Um, and I'm sure I'm speaking for the board when I'm saying that. Um, I am concerned about the, the process of finding a new person, and I'm particularly concerned about uh, being sure that we don't have uh, a gap uh, during which there is no person. So could you talk a little bit about how we're going to manage this? Who's providing, how are we finding candidates, and how do, I think we, need, as a board, more than anything else, need to be confident that yeah. there is a person, there's not going to be a person with equal qualifications, because David is truly uniquely qualified, but at least with comparable qualifications um, in charge, so we don't go through a period of, of no one being in charge here. Uh, as you can imagine, that has been a paramount concern to CCDC. Um, David, it can speak to... Uh, a, an appropriate transition in a moment, but in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the team and how we find a team leader, uh, again, uh, the uh, the bulk of the team is not changing. I understand the head of the team will change, but uh, the same uh, Tishman people who have been advised in this Tishman AE Com will continue to be available to us. Uh, the Lair people will continue to be available to us. Uh, the Les PMX, the whole the whole team. Uh, that surrounds David will continue to be available to us. Um, we are in the process of um, of reviewing the qualifications of a potential successor. Uh, we have not had any formal back and forth on that uh, in terms of uh, an approval of uh, that such person, but uh, we are in the process of uh, gauging the need and addressing the qualifications of a potential successor, and I will keep the directors posted on that progress. But David, do you want to speak to making sure that we have a smooth transition? No, I mean, I'm, I'm heavily invested in this project and have been and committed to doing a smooth transition. And so um, I think I think they'll go up without a hitch. Can I just ask a really stupid question? Because I'm like really stupid. So how does that job building the airport become more important than this job? I'm just trying to. I'm just trying. I mean, it's an elephant in the room. It's an elephant in the room. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to understand it. Like, I will. I will. I will. I, from I will offer my own point of view, which is that no job could be more important than uh, overseeing the Javits expansion, uh, and certainly I intend to treat it that way, and the uh, CCDC mm -hmm. intends to treat it uh, that way uh, as we look for a successor uh, project director, but. Uh, David can speak for himself, but life goes on. And no, it's fine. I just like there to be some transparency. I feel like I'm not being told something that I should know. <laughs> so, so you're not leaving for the airport anytime soon? Uh, I, I, I mean, like, is, it, is that like a better other job? Is that yes like, no? like, like, was, like, was, like this somebody else's decision? I I'd just like to know. No, it was, it was my decision to do that. Because, because it's... Is it because, so I understand this, yes. because I am a fiduciary, is it because in the gestation of a project, I mean, it, I I wish I grew up to be like like have your talents because obviously it's they're they're very needed right in this moment in New York State. Mm -hmm. The question is, in a gestation of a project, does somebody like you get a project to a certain point, and then your talents aren't needed in the same way as starting a project? I'm I'm just asking. Uh, no, I mean I think there's uh, projects to me projects interesting all the way through. Mm -hmm. uh, the precon is a very interesting part because mm -hmm. the most changes can be done there. Um, the airport terminal job, frank, frankly, is a massive opportunity to again make a difference on an important project. I think um, you got to address Lee in terms of language you'll understand, like triage. Like, <laughs> you know, like as important as this is, you know, you sort of. Uh, Dealt with the heart attack, and now you're dealing with the gunshot wound. Yeah, right. well, that so, that's kind so of that maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll buy that. I'm not sure I like the analogy, but sure, I'll we'll buy that. But he's a he's a hosp part. hospital guy. So that's yeah. how we talk. Right. <laughs> but it's nothing to do with oh my god, I'm out of here. This is it, just the contrary. This is now running very well, and time to jump to something that needs uh, attention and uh, organization. To the extent, look to the extent, let's uh, to the extent that you can, and I hope that you can. Uh, I would hope that you would bring your successor in before you exited, 
Yes. And 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 spent a little time with uh, he or she bringing them up to speed. That would probably be optimal. Yes. So to the extent that that is possible, I would certainly appreciate that. Uh, right. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, that that will be done. Uh, if please, I don't want to put words into David's mouth. I just, no, no, of course. I, I just don't want I you to be it. in the process of looking for someone, and then you, you you left. I understand that might happen, but I'm hoping that 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 doesn't. No, I'm committed to a, a good transition. Yes. Lee, let, and let me let me be very express about addressing two potential subtexts from uh, of what you raised, which is number one, I personally and CCDC as an organization would have been thrilled if David is had, would have stayed. This is not a question of David being asked to leave. Oh no, that, that I that, do. That, <laughs> that, 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 that part I far knew. to the contrary. No, we David knew that. Would have been thrilled to continue with David as we have uh, today. And also, just to be clear, I, I have zero intention of going anywhere. I often say I'm like a professional baseball manager. I may get fired, but I won't quit. So I am here for the duration of this project, uh, which I find fascinating, and I feel very grateful to be able to oversee it. And uh, with the good help of David and a, and a, and a, a, a successor, uh, we'll continue the good work that, that we have. I think that's very important, Robin, but I also think, and very, I'm glad to hear you're staying. I think it's also very important what Leah's saying, and that is everybody in this room has been involved in large-scale construction projects. Um, I think we all can say, in response to Lee's question, that... Um, the, the end is just as important as the beginning, uh, particularly as regards to money. Um, yes, and very much so. Um, so, I and I feel that it is an obli I, I I remember the conversation that we had about the original contract in which we discussed the question of approval of a successor, um, and in which one of the reasons that we retained the firm that we did was because of you and your specific. Mm -hmm. experience and skills. And um, all I can say, Robin, is I think you need to have a very firm conversation with our uh, contractor about the fact that we are... Uh, I, I personally am not happy about the, their decision in this regard. I, I, I think it's probably good for David, and it's good for him, but we really need to have a, a good selection of possible candidates and have somebody who has some experience in large-scale complex projects as we get to the end. And no, no question about that, and the conversation has already begun. Like I'm sure we're pushing on an open door here with this conversation. I just want to reiterate one thing that you said, which um, I, I think we kind of glossed over it, but I do want to give it a, another round of attention, that we're on time and on budget, and I certainly appreciate that because, you know, I... That's not always the case when it comes to um, sort of government, quasi-government projects. So uh, my congratulations to this point in time. And I, I think it, 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 it has a lot to do with everything that you've done and everything you've done. And, you know, also a fantastic board that really just makes sure that everyone's paying attention uh, to. And I've gotten to know David for a long time now, and he is um, one of the most diligent people I've ever met when it when it comes time to crossing the T's and dotting the I's. So congratulations. <clears throat> so I know from the volume of my emails, but yes. Um, uh, but thank you, yes, we will We will find a worthy successor. And and, and, and that's a compliment. Uh, Absolutely. It's, I it's as much a statement as a fact, but I'm, I'm extremely complimentary in, you know, every time I come to this meeting, you know, every are we, are we on time and on budget? And to something at this depth and breadth and scale, uh, and to say that you are, I just say, is, 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 is an accomplishment. You make us all look good. Thank you. Working hard to do that. Um, uh, perhaps a bit anticlimactic, but the, I have a minor end to my president's uh, report. Not so minor for some, sorry. Uh, we have a new senior project manager uh, at CCDC, uh, Sam uh, Adolf, uh, who's been with us for many months already. And Sam's been a terrific help to me, uh, both following the money, uh, following change orders, um, doing uh, an endless uh, variety of things that need to be done. So um, just wanted the directors to meet Sam and to uh, to know how much I appreciate her work. Well, thank you for having me. Welcome. So with that, I think we, we, should, go? we should start off the go. formal meeting. Okay. Lest there be any confusion, I am not Henry Silverman. <laughs> uh, Michael Carey, good afternoon. Uh, before I call this meeting to order, I just want to know for the record that I will be serving as acting chair for today's meeting. Uh, I now call to order the meeting of the directors of the New York City of the New York Convention Center Development Corporation for Wednesday, January 30th, 2019.
I'd like to note for the record that this meeting is being webcast. The directors have received the relevant written materials in advance of today's meeting and are free to ask any question, questions at any time. Please note that we also welcome public comment on the items on the following agenda to ensure maximum opportunity for participation. However, speakers representing themselves may speak for up to two minutes and those representing groups may speak up to four minutes with one speaker per group. Speakers' comments may address only the items considered at today's meeting. Uh, before we begin with the substantive portion of the meeting, I would like to ask the directors whether anyone has any potential conflict of interest with respect to any of the items on today's agenda. If so, I would ask you to please make an appropriate disclosure on the record at this time. We will then be sure that you may recuse yourselves from any discussion or vote with regard to such item or items at the appropriate time. There being none, we shall proceed. Okay, just before we, we move to the formal agenda, um, I do want to say on behalf of the board, David, and we have to say thank you very much for your efforts. It's been a pleasure. You'll be missed. Um, and other than the instant anxiety that's brought up about <laughs> by perhaps uh, your, your imminent departure, but reassured by the notion that you will make sure that a worthy success is in place. We want to wish you well and thank you for all your good efforts thank on behalf of, of, of the Javits. And good luck to you. Thank you. Um, with that, um, hearing no conflicts, we go to the agenda, right? So, yes. The first item, I guess, is the approval of the minutes of the June 13, 2018 meeting of the directors. Um, any questions, additions, or deletions on these minutes? There being none, I'd like to entertain a motion for approval. So moved. Okay, second? Second. So moved. Uh, aye. All in favor? Aye. aye. Okay. Just one note. Um, I think if we can, um, Robin and so forth. I think if we can catch up on these minutes, because we're now, I think, six months behind, and not to be a stickler. No, no, but, I, but I agree I'll do with a little, you. I'll do a little heavy for No, for that's Henry. okay. We are, we are, there are two ways to look at it. We are six months behind, but I think now we are one meeting behind. Okay, so is that right? right? Yes. So we, we, I have been pushing okay. for the transcripts, and I hope that by the next meeting we will uh, be caught up. Yes, okay. yes I, I am trying to keep current on the minutes. Not, not taking so. take away from all the uh, the audits that George just gave, but we should. <laughs> all right. Okay. So uh, with that, um, we will go to I guess um, to the. The, the motion carries. Robin, President of the Corporation will now present a request to approve the expenditure. Which is where we are? Uh, the, the capital item. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So it's to you. Yes, it's to me. I will do that. Uh, th this is, uh, this it will look familiar to you. We've done uh, items like this in the past. Uh, the directors will recall that in 2015, uh, the directors authorized a funding agreement between CCDC and CCOC, pursuant to which OC undertakes certain capital improvements at existing Javits on behalf of DC. Uh, over the past three years, the directors have authorized a total of $18.5 million for specific CCOC capital improvement projects, as are detailed in Exhibit A to uh, the materials uh, uh, covering this item today. Uh, CCOC and CCDC are now asking the directors to authorize an additional capital improvement project uh, consisting of $4.1 million for security barriers at selected locations at existing Javits. Uh, some, those of you who are uh, DC directors or were otherwise at the, I'm sorry, OC directors, who were otherwise at the OC meeting heard a bit about this from Alan earlier today. Uh, but this improvement of uh, security barriers uh, has been noted as a high priority on CCOC's list of needed improvements at the existing facility. Um, as set forth in your materials, the total dollar allocation is within CCDC's previously authorized capital budget, and therefore no capital budget amendment is required. Uh, thank you. Uh, what we are requesting is the directors authorize the expenditure of the $4.1 million for the uh, additional security barriers. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, and Alan and I can address them. Okay. Any motion to approve? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I think we're good. All right. Um, any objections? None? Hearing none? We'll okay, the, we're good. We'll skip the president's report. We've done that, right? You, you're good with the president's report? So we'll go to the next item for consideration, right? Yes. Good. Unless you want to add to the president's report. No. Okay. <laughs> Ready to go. 
I know, I know David would love to know more, but got <laughs> <laughs> Ready to answer any Langen? questions? Langen, are we on to Langen? Uh, we're on to Langen. Oh, Langen we go. Langen's easy. Everybody loves Langen. Everybody loves Langen. All right. Uh, 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 they'll be proud to know that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, as, as the directors and others know, Langen has provided geotechnical services to CCDC for many years, uh, as are described in your materials. Uh, the most recent scope of services being performed by Langen is two-pronged. Uh, first, they are assisting us in connection with, with what will be an important 12th Avenue egress gate uh, from, uh, from at the project completion. Uh, obviously, um, uh, at the end of the day, we're going to need uh, legal egress, uh, and also uh, the Port Authority vent here uh, also needs legal egress for the Lincoln Tunnel, um, and that is all being arranged at 12th Avenue. Um, uh, through a gate process which is underway, and Langen has been helping us uh, both with uh, state DOT uh, and city DOT, uh, who are both involved in making sure that uh, uh, the, the work will, comp will uh, function together. Uh, and the second thing that Langen has been doing under the current contract is assisting CCDC's project manager uh, by providing various civil engineering and geotechnical and environmental support services uh, on an as-requested basis. The site excavation is almost complete. Um, it's a little hard to see, but up in the, the very corner where the new atrium is going to be, that has been uh, still staging and loading, and uh, therefore there's a bit of excavation to be done there uh, once, uh, uh, once it's no longer necessary for uh, uh, staging. Uh, but Lang has been helping us with the geotechnical analysis uh, connected with the conclusion of excavation as well. Uh, obviously, at this point, Langen has a wealth of project-specific knowledge, the replacement of which would not be cost-effective, uh, and accordingly, staff recommends that the Langen contract uh, 10946, I noted in your materials that there are a couple of other contracts, but those are mostly done. Uh, so we're asking that the directors uh, extend contract 10946 through March of 2022, uh, which is the expected final project completion date. Uh, and that the upset amount of the contract be increased from uh, 150000 to 300000 And just let me draw attention to that completion date of March the 22nd, uh, because previously as part of the President's report, I said that the, the conclusion of this project is going to be March of 2021, 20, uh, uh, which is the correct term for substantial completion, uh, when it will be uh, ready uh, for use. Uh, many of you, of course, know the, the final technical term of final completion, which is post-punch list, mm -hmm. which will be a year beyond that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're simply extending uh, the contract through that final completion uh, date, a year past substantial completion, um, so as to, um, as to keep current with our contracts. And, and who is functioning as counsel on this, this contract extension? Uh, we have in-house. Uh, I mean, in-house. In the only reason I ask is that this was initially a single. This was initially a single yes. source procurement. Uh, yes, correct. Increasing it. I'd like to just hear from council that council believes this, that we have the legal authority to. In, in, in as much as it was there was a there was it was not a uh, competitively bid contract originally, that, and now we're uh, extending it by doubling. Good question. That, that would be for both this and the next uh, yeah. the next and item. Yes, that a, was addressed. Do we have an opinion from council on this? Uh, yeah, so uh, for both the original procurement and this procurement, we got through our procurement guidelines. Um, the president has the authority to uh, enter into contracts for less than 250000 which was the original contract. For both those procurements, there was also newly executed CRE, or Contract Reporter Exemption, which uh, we procured on a single source basis due to their expertise. Those are both permissible uses under the uh, guidelines. Correct. However, the total amount exceeds the total amount of the contract will now exceed the uh, the um, exempted amount. So how do we justify is, which that? Is, which, which, is is 250. Why, well, which is why we're bringing it to the board for board authorization. But, are we getting a separate, uh, do we get a separate um, contract for uh, reporting and approval for this? Yes, there was one for the original procurement and there's one for the amendment. And has it gone through yet? Yes, it was. It was. It, it, it's. It's been finally executed. It was executed as of either Monday or yesterday, and, and the same for the next item that will be upcoming. I, I will say both of these adhere to the procurement guidelines that the board adopts every year. And I'd like to note for the record, uh, Mr. Chairman, that I feel that what, where we're entering into contracts which exceed, which ultimately exceed the contract value for exemption allowed for exemption, that it's not a good practice, and we should try to avoid this. Single source. Well, let, let, let's let's take that as first of all. Let's be clear that uh, 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 ad 
advertising is the preferred route. I t we all agree on that. Right. So there are times, however, pursuant to the procurement guidelines, where uh, the a firm which has provided existing services uh, is is uh, in a position to continue to provide those services, and the open question then will be whether or not advertising for those services will really serve any commercially useful purpose, uh, because uh, because someone coming in fresh and new is unlikely to be able uh, to be as efficient either in terms of productivity or cost as someone who has the, the previous experience. I totally agree with that, and on that basis, I intend to vote for this amendment. <laughs> However, Sorry. I do want to note for the record that. The whole, that it's not in, the the effect of this is that what we're doing is that we are avoiding certain requirements be, because of having this a two stage contract rather than a single stage contract. Well, that sure that wasn't I'm sure that was not intentional. That's the effect, and I think that we, we should all know that the goal here is to allow as many firms as possible to have an opportunity to bid. So and unfortunately, David, we can't do it here, and so we have to deliver. So I I wrestle with this uh, because I recognize what you're saying, but the alternative is that. Uh, uh, we could have initially started with a contract of three hundred or more thousand uh, dollars, which which might then have been a single source um, for for services and dollars that we might never need. I agree with that. So it is it is very much a balancing act uh, between uh, trying to come to the directors with too much uh, information, too too long a contract, and too great a dollar. Uh, uh, at the at the at the uh, at the potential expense of having complacent consultants, uh, versus uh, chopping things up a little bit, uh, trying to keep a short leash, uh, trying to make sure that we're satisfied with the work that's going on, um, and, and then uh, once we once we discover that both the work has been satisfactory, but the work needs to continue, then choosing this column B, which we're essentially essentially doing now, so. I'm certainly cognizant of all the things you raised, and we've, we've tried to put that all into the hopper as we bring the materials to you. Um, I, I would just make an observation that I, I concur with David's uh, uh, comments, but I'm also in favor of this. But but I would just uh, maybe Robin going forward, uh, as long as this has been vetted ahead of time, why not save that the materials that go out so yes. we can diffuse any anxiety about this, both for okay. the board members as well as the public, because as Good long idea. as everything is is all out there. What the, this, uh, right? what, what the, that's that's a wonderful suggestion. I totally agree with that. What yeah. the board materials say at the moment, uh, because they had to be sent out on Friday, so you had time to read them, is that the contract reporter exemption is pending. Okay. It is, it is in the board materials. Okay. It, 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 it became non-pending as of Monday or Tuesday, so now I can report that it has I been. think that's important. Even, even better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Much better. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, okay. I, 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 we certainly will try to do that. Okay. Very well done. Uh, now, I think we need a motion. To with, with, with those comments and with that explanation, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to move <laughs> this item. Okay, can we get a motion to approve? He gave a motion. motion yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Oh. Okay. All right, buddy. Last item. One more time. Last item. <laughs> uh, a, a, a similar posture, uh, different services. Usual steps. Uh, here we go. For usually the. Uh, uh, Inclusive of in the board materials, it refers to a contract reporter exemption, which is pending, but I am now happy to report it has been granted. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Uh, this is connection with a contract amendment for D. Domenico. Uh, obviously, a critical element of the expansion is that upon completion, the expansion will read as one seamless building with existing Javits. As a practical matter, this means that various mechanical and other systems being developed as part of the project must be fully integrated with matching systems within existing Javits prior to completion of the project. Uh, in turn, this integration requires intimate familiarity with existing Javits uh, and the existing Javits uh, working systems. Uh, for instance, this DMAICO contract was first entered into in connection with uh, the replacement of the emergency northern egress from the existing facility. Uh, you may recall, uh, obviously, uh, pre-expansion, uh, there was a legal northern egress from existing Javits as part of the expansion, that uh, egress needed to be changed so that uh, existing Javits could continue to be code compliant in terms of egress. Uh, uh, CCDC uh, hired uh, a CCOC consultant, uh, D. Domenico, uh, to assist us in that process. D. Domenico has been um, a longtime uh, code consultant uh, for the existing Javits uh, and, of course, was, uh, was uh, uh, 
best suited, for the reasons that we have discussed, uh, best suited to provide these services to CCDC uh, in connection with uh, the conjoining of the two buildings. Um, other similar issues will arise. Uh, for example, we have already begun uh, to discuss the integration of the fire alarm system, both uh, of the, the fire alarm system for existing Javits with the transformer building with the new expansion. Uh, will raise some of these uh, same kinds of issues. Uh, so accordingly, staff recommends that the scope of CCDC's current contract with DiDomenico be expanded to include general assistance to CCDC in connection with design application and permitting, permitting issues with uh, New York State uh, Dormitory Authority and with the New York City Department of Buildings. Uh, staff recommends that DiDomenico contract be extended through March of 2022 for the reasons I explained in the prior material. Uh, and that the upside, upset amount of the contract be increased from 150000 to 300000 um, I'd be happy to take any questions. I, one thing I didn't, are you planning on using DiDomenico for the fire alarm work as well, or is that going to be another contract? Uh, they will have a piece of that analysis. There will also be other contractors uh, looking at that. I, I think it's very important. I will, again, I'm planning to buff this, but I do think it's very important as a public agency that we allow New York contractors to bid on these jobs as they become available. Since we know they're coming up, that we have that we have an open process, and that CCTC actually seek bids and not merely extend or expand existing contracts. And so, I'd like to encourage you as you look, since there are going to be other ones. As you know, I have a particular concern with the fire uh, alarm system in the structure. I think it's very, very important that we reach out to the to the world of New York contractors to come up with the best contractor and best price under the circumstances. Very good. But having said that, I would. Do want to support this? Thank you. Okay. Any other questions from the board? Any questions from the public? There being none, I'll entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. Um, unless I'm mistaken, Robin, I, bre I believe that brings us to the end of our I only want to acknowledge today. that it's a cold day and getting colder. I really appreciate your oh, attendance. Uh, thank you very much. Henry appreciates our attendance. <laughs> <laughs>